Welcome back. Let's everybody. return Coast to, to Coast. This, week this Week in America. In America. Here's your and host, Rick Bradley. By Fred Hardwick, MD. Mathematics is presented as a subject of great beauty and wonder. Step into a world where mathematics, not just a subject, but a thrilling adventure through the realms of discovery and wonder. And math is wonderful. Delve into the beauty of numbers and their extraordinary connections to our world. From history and astronomy to biology, chemistry, music, and even the Bible. Each chapter is uniquely explored of how mathematics intertwines with various fields in everyday life, revealing patterns and insights that are often overlooked. Fred Hartwick is a medical oncologist, taught medicine, hematology, oncology, and a little bit of math for 21 years in Lubbock, Texas, at the Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center. He received the Internal Medicine Teacher of the Year Award in 2004. Currently lives with his wife, Beth, in Childress, Texas. Dr. Fred Hartwick, author of Math is Wonderful, our guest on This Week in America. Doctor, welcome to the program. A pleasure to have you with us. Yes, it's good to be here. I love the title of the book. I love the subject. And in reading it, it's like you've opened up a whole new world for me. I see math now wherever I look. No matter what I'm doing in the world, it's really incredible what you've done in bringing this down to the level for, for so many people and make it interesting once again. What was the inspiration for writing this book? You are uh, an accomplished uh, medical doctor, oncologist. What was the interest in math that led you to write the book? Well, I've always had an interest in math. I'd just kind of been busy uh, treating cancer patients and so forth. Uh, I had uh, a point, uh, you know, several years ago where I was uh, tired of uh, doing Sudoku puzzles because I had figured all, all that out and I, I found that just uh, asking the right questions and trying to find the answers in math was uh, it was more interesting, sort of like uh, finding a new cave or something <laughs> and exploring and and uh, you know if you if you were the first guy to uh, to see Carlsbad Caverns, uh, of course you would want to tell others uh, about it, and and that's uh, that's the way math is to me. The book is Math is Wonderful by Fred Hardwick. That's H-A-R-D-W-I-C-K-E-M-D. His website is fredhardwick.com. Book available on Amazon, wherever books are sold. A link on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. What are your qualifications as a mathematician? What's your background in math? Well, actually, uh, fairly uh, fairly strong uh, I uh, went through calculus uh, in uh, high school and was uh, on the math club. I uh, took a, a third semester of calculus in college. Uh, I did uh, the valency and molecular bond structure uh, in uh, chemistry, which is about the highest math I've ever uh gone into and then biostatistics in uh, medical school as as well as uh, additional uh, learning to understand oncology uh, clinical trials and probabilities and that sort of thing so uh yes i've i've had quite a bit of, of background in math Obviously, at an early age, there was a teacher or a class that inspired you. And as you're going through that litany and the interest that was developed by those teachers, by those classes, the curiosity, the, the exploration that you went through in math, what's missing, missing in math education today, do you think? Or is there nothing missing? Well, I'm not trying to start a revolution here, but I think actually for, for decades, uh, the idea that uh, math is tough and math is boring have pretty much won the day. And so mathematicians have tried to emphasize, well, yes, but math is important. But the people growing up today are, are believing, well, we have calculators, we have artificial in intelligence, and uh, maybe we don't uh, even uh, need to consider 
learning math important. But I completely disagree, of course. Fred Hartwick, MD, our guest on the program. The book is Math is Wonderful, the book available wherever books are sold. Dr. Hartwick's name or website is fredhartwick.com. Hartwick with an E at the end, H-A-R-D-W-I-C-K-E. A link on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. I mentioned the real-world applications of math. Let's take, for example, music. How do music and math converge? Well, uh in, in uh, several ways. Uh, we have this uh, little instrument called a, a metronome. Uh, it kind of looks like a, a pendulum moving back and forth. And that sets the tempo of the, uh, the, the, math, uh, the musical piece. But then there's, there's also uh, what we call a, a rhythm, uh, which uh, has to do with you know, quarter notes eighth notes, half notes, and things like that, as well as uh, syncopation and more complicated rhythms. And then pitch itself represents various uh, frequencies of sound, and the octaves are simply uh, uh, doublings on the the frequencies. So yes, uh, ultimately it's all about math, and obviously it's, it's a it's a very important art form. You're very proficient at music as well. Dr. Hartwick has produced four CDs of piano music, given over 50 concerts in three states. So he's taken that background in math, that interest in music. And uh, the two have uh, have joined for a very successful, uh, I don't want to call it hobby, but sort of a, uh, a, a side pleasure that you have in performing music. You talk about the number 5280, 5,280, the number of feet in a mile. What's so special about that? Yes, yeah, it's, it's just one of, it seems to be one of those random numbers to, to most people, but actually it is, is not, uh, is not uh, random at all. Uh, I have a whole chapter on what I call uh, parabolics, uh, which is how how numbers uh, can connect to e- each other on the uh, diagonals of the multiplication table, and uh, so you just take, uh, for instance, uh, parabola ten, uh, like. Uh, five and five, or six and four, seven and three. It's easy to see that there's plenty of of uh, single bond connections, but then there are some that have actually two. And then, uh, most interestingly to me, are the ones that have three bonds. But five thousand two hundred and eighty. Uh, links with its next number, uh, 6,240, with four bonds, which is just extremely unusual. And then that one then links to one higher again, again with, with four bonds. So so uh, for the record, uh, 5,280 is a very interesting number. You will find that and so much more in Dr. Hartwig's book, Math is Wonderful. He starts with the basics, that even people with limited understanding, and I'll put myself in that category, can follow. There's something there for everybody. It's laid out so well, and it's very relatable and understandable. Book available wherever books are sold. You talk about the seven great numbers. This is fascinating. Explain what that is, the seven great numbers. Well, um, now I put that uh, a term, but I don't think it's a, I don't think it's an over overstatement. I think that uh, when I uh, first uh, was exploring these triple bond parabolics, uh, that I, I started working on it, and then thinking. You know how long has it been since uh, since somebody's been up here looking around? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, start starting with uh, the lowest possible number for a triple bond, which is 120, 
Um, then uh, you can follow those seven numbers and then it goes back to the original number only uh, uh, times 16. And actually that's, that's uh, it's like a spiral staircase all of the way to infinity from 120. Uh, and you can take uh, 480, which is four times 120, and have a second uh, spiral staircase uh, that also extends up into uh, infinity. That's just fascinating. And again, it all comes to life in Dr. Hardwick's book, Math is Wonderful, available wherever books are sold. Link to his website on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Do numbers play a significant role in the Bible? If so, please explain. And you've written a book on this as well. Yes, actually, that's right at the end of the book. I uh, And I don't want people just to look at that. I want them to read the rest of it first so they can understand what I'm, I'm talking about there. But uh, uh, we noted a, a number of interesting uh, things that that uh, I had I'd never really considered before. One is that uh, the first and last of those seven great numbers are in fact found in the, in the Bible. Uh, second, that a common uh, progression, I call it the pool progression because everybody knows there's, you know, there's 15 balls on a, on a pool table, but you keep adding. So one plus two plus three plus four, and you have this long progression. And, and that is, uh, I consider it the Bible's progression because it's there a lot in the Bible, uh, including our famous Revelation 666. Interesting. And the book I mentioned that uh, Doctor has written is The Puzzle of Gospel Harmony, a careful look at all four Gospels and how they fit together. That's available at uh, Dr. Hartwick's website, fredhartwick.com. Of course, the usual places for that as well. Do numbers save lives? Well, yes. Uh, we have uh, the uh, Texas Highway Department here uh, in Texas. They have to evaluate all, all of these uh, bridges uh, according to age and, and uh, wear and tear and determine how many thousands of pounds can successfully cross the bridge without uh, causing it to, to uh, crash. And that's involved with every uh, skyscraper and, uh, uh, you know, uh, space uh, rocket. Oh yes. All of these are, are mathematical uh, issues. Can math be fun? And I say that numbers be fun. So often, as a student, we're like math. Okay, this is probably going to be boring. I don't know if I can stick with this. Should they be fun? Well, I I look at it at this this way. Uh, kind of the. Tom Sawyer and the and the whitewashing the fence thing. Uh, if if uh, if you can make it into a, a little a game, uh, a little bit of fun, uh, I think uh, it, it makes the pill easier to swallow. And uh, I'm not the greatest humorist, perhaps, but I, I'm sure that there's a, at least twelve laugh out loud places <laughs> in my book. Yes, uh, there is at least a, a dozen of those and quite possibly more. You're reading the book and you're having a good time doing it. You're learning something. It's entertaining. It's educational. It has all of those aspects and written for the average person, written as well for those that know their way around math to give them maybe sort of a new perspective, a new understanding of mathematics. The book is Math is Wonderful. What's special about the year 2024? Is that a special number of any kind? Well, in fact, uh, much to my surprise, uh, it is. Uh, going back to those uh, seven great numbers, 
that all relates to what I call two uh, building blocks uh, that that put the the structure together. Uh, but those uh, those combinations don't happen often. So you have those two associated with the seven great numbers. But then uh, the third time you have those building blocks, what do you have? You have 2024 20, and 3024 30, as, as, uh, as a, uh, what do I call a triple, triple bond uh, par parabolic. So, so yes. That makes 2024 uh, a very interesting uh, number. I had not known that before. It brings a whole new perspective to numbers. And as you're looking at things, you will see them differently through the eyes of Fred Hardwick, MD, and his book, which is called Math is Wonderful. A couple minutes left. I want to talk about the relationship between you as a medical doctor and you as a mathematician. You, you alluded before that that math really helped in medicine, and I'm sure medicine helps in, in math as well. Talk about that relationship. Well, uh, when you uh, look around, you see that mathemat mathematicians tend to go into oncology uh, because uh, so many things that we are doing, we're, we're, we're calculating. We want to give enough to uh, give a punch to the tumor, but we don't want to give so much that you have uh, toxicities or side effects that are, yes. are extreme. Um, and, and so I've, I've been impressed at other uh, you know, mathematicians that are in uh, oncology, uh, but the whole idea of, of uh, one treatment better than the other, uh, which is central to oncology development, is based on this whole idea of probability. Uh, because you can, you can count the number of subjects, the number of responses and stuff, but, uh, you know, could it have happened by chance rather than by a, a better drug or a better combination, uh, that's something we have to decide on. But those, those sorts of ideas also have a bearing on uh, treating high blood pressure, treating diabetes, and, and things of, of uh, that nature as well. Math, a crucial part of our lives, uh, maybe even a life and death situation at, uh, at some point. It's fascinating all of the elements that uh, math reaches in our lives. I've got a, a minute or so left here at the end. I just want to talk about the layout. I've talked about this. It's very readable. It's accessible. Talk about the layout, the design. You've got diagrams. You've got charts in there. You've got illustrations. It's really so well laid out. How did you go about laying out this book? Well, it started with uh, my, my chapter uh, selections. I, I saw that they were all coming up with P's, uh, and then I, I, I uh, worked on it a little bit, and I decided I needed one other chapter, which was primes, to start it off. And so, um, yes, each, each chapter... Uh, builds on the the next, and uh, I, I I think at, at least at that level that it is a, a very organized uh, book. It really is, and it's it brings math home the uh, ubiquitous nature of math and our world, and it's it opens up for many people a whole new world by seeing it through the eyes of uh, a mathematician. Fred Hartwick, MD, has been our guest on the program. That's H-A-R-D-W-I-C-K-E. His website is fredhardwick.com. Uh, information on that, of course, and a link on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Doctor, it's been a pleasure having you on the program. I've written several other books as well. You'll find those at his website. Are you working on another book? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, uh, I, I, in my mind, yes. Yeah, okay. okay. Okay, we'll see if it uh, makes it to the uh, publisher from his mind. The other books, uh, Pecos Adventure, Thoughts on Becoming a Man, that book available, of course, Amazon, his website, and the Puzzle of Gospel Harmony that I talked about, and this book, Math is Wonderful. Doctor, a pleasure having you on the program. Thank you for explaining math and making it fun for many of us. Thank you. Okay. You're listening to This Week in America, our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Information on Fred Hardwick, MD, his book available on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. We're back on today's program right after these messages. This Week in America is online. You can visit our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Scott Pinkerton, associate producer of This Week in America. Jay Anderson, segment producer. Ben Watson, webmaster. Otto Bache, director of engineering and TV production. This Week in America produced and is a trademark of Blue Funk Broadcasting, LLC. For information on all of our guests and to listen to this week's show, our website again at thisweekinamerica.us. And I'm Sean Bratton, executive producer of This Week in America.